Hi there. Once again, we've used a vintage cast iron pan to make roast chicken, but this time the results were especially good, giving us a chicken that not only tasted good, it also looked spectacular. This is a take on the classic recipe, chicken with 40 cloves of garlic, though with this recipe there is no such thing as too many garlic cloves. And as anyone who's made spatchcock chicken knows, cutting a whole chicken in half will help the chicken cook thoroughly and in far less time. For this recipe, we're using a vintage oval fish fryer from Birmingham Sylvan Range, but you can do the same thing if you have two large cast iron skillets. And if you don't have two of them, then this is an excuse to get at least one more. We start by preheating the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and we also begin preheating our cast iron pan on the stove top so that we can sear the chicken. And now we prepare our chicken rub by adding parsley, sage, rosemary and thyme to a mortar and pestle and grinding it up into a powder. Here we add some onion powder and some smoked paprika and then mix in salt and ground black pepper to make a simple chicken rub. One trick we're using here is to take a whole chicken and cut it completely in half. Using kitchen shears we completely cut out the spine of the chicken and then we spread it out and turn it over. Take a large sharp knife and cut it completely in half and now we have two half chickens. Start with the underside and drizzle olive oil over the bottom and then we simply rub the rub over the entire surface. Then we turn the chicken over and do the same thing to the top side. Go ahead and use all the rub because there's really no reason to save it. And the chicken is ready and it's time to start cooking. We sear both sides of the chicken in a hot cast iron pan. We're not completely cooking the chicken here, we're just giving it a good browning on both sides. This will take maybe three or four minutes and we flip the chicken once or twice. Then we remove the chicken from the pan and use the chicken juices and the hot grease to brown a whole bunch of peeled garlic cloves. Because the pan is so hot, we only need to stir the garlic cloves for about a minute or so. We don't want to burn them and we only need to fry them until they're just slightly browned. And now we add chicken broth to the pan to help cook the chicken and this will also keep the garlic cloves from burning. We mix in thyme, some brandy and a cup of cream to produce a delicious pan sauce as the chicken roasts. And now we add the chicken back into the pan and we insert a probe thermometer to keep track of the temperature. This is important. And now into the oven it goes to roast at 375 degrees. We're going to roast this until the temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And with that, our garlic roasted chicken is ready. We have a wonderful crisp roasted skin here and the pan liquid has mostly evaporated to give us a layer of thoroughly roasted garlic cloves. After resting for just a few minutes, we can serve our roasted half chicken and especially be sure to garnish it with the garlic cloves. The roasted garlic is a delicacy in itself as it makes the best garlic bread ever. And when combined with this wonderful garlic roasted chicken, this is a feast that will certainly satisfy your dinner guests. I really liked how this one turned out. And if you've never had roasted garlic, you absolutely need to give this a try. The cooked garlic does not become incredibly strong garlic, but rather just the opposite. It mellows, it takes on a nutty flavor, it absorbs the flavor of the chicken, and it's so delicious you can just scoop the garlic out of the pan with a spoon and eat it like that. Combine that with the wonderful chicken that came out of this recipe, and the result is a chicken that I really hope you try for yourself. 
Not only is it easy to make, it's a roast chicken your family will remember, and it's one that I hope you will return to again and again. Thank you for watching.